Hello Aries and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. Uh, for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. So as a reminder, because this is a general love reading, um, the roles can always be reversed. They can always be flipped. So Aries, for the collective watching this right now, apply it to your situation, pick and choose and take only what resonates or what I'm already confirming that you know to be true. That is definitely part of your story. And whatever doesn't resonate or you know mm -mm, that's not part of my story, toss it to the side. You definitely don't need it. This is supposed to be simple and easy to understand, um, Aries Tarot, any tarot reading really. It should be all about simplicity and gaining understanding, clarity here, um, and insight as well. So in saying that, Aries, let's go and explore your heart space right now. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you come across this reading, Aries, there may be indeed a very special message for you. So I just split the deck and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you, Whoever is in your heart space, if there's a particular person you're thinking about, um, well, they could have any fixed sign here. We do have um, Taurus, Leo, we have Aquarius and Scorpio. Now, this is the card of destiny. And ah, OK, there is a reason why you met this person, for example. But this is, again, always about the wheel turning in your favor. So there is a very good uh, positive change that is happening, um, Aries, for you. It's long awaited, it's coming, and it's yours, and it's here to stay. So, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, now oh, for some of you, there could be children involved as well. That is my apology card as well, but it is all about beautiful, loving, flirtatious, genuine messages filled with emotions. All right, Aries, now if you do resonate with this reading, there will be the option of, um, having a, an extended reading. And the link to the extended is in the description box below. It's the first link underneath the line of stars. Um, so for those that are new to my channel, the purpose of your extended, which I always say optional because I like to make these readings very full as well. Um, but <clears throat> um, Aries, I, in the extended, I go a lot more deeper into your person and only from your person, only from their perspective, their true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection, their intentions, desires, wishes, fears, actions, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you moving forward. The aim is to always give you new insight, new changes that are happening as well. So Aries, if you stick around to the end of this video, you will see a glimpse of your extended. Um, I use around four to five different decks. And yeah, they can be pretty full on. <laughs> um, I definitely do not like to make them under 10 minutes. So usually they're actually over 20 minutes <laughs> um, because I want to make sure you get all the information and insight that you deserve, Aries. So let's see. Let's get into it. I want to really explore your heart space. What are the changes? Because that Wheel of Fortune, it's a major arcana. It's kind of powerful. Okay, so we have a dominant. Me okay, we see that. That is a highlighted message for you, Aries. So we'll leave that to the side. Let's see. You've got changes happening here. That's what I like. There's some positive changes. It's a change that you want to occur. You want this to happen. So let's see. For Aries, please. All right, let's get to it. Before I see the bottom of this deck, Let's look at your highlighted message. What do we have? Oh, ooh, you got my, one of my favorite cards. You've got the world. Again, showing those fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Could be perhaps in their chart. Um, maybe who we, whoever is in your heart space, they may be abroad, maybe at a distance from you. Um, if they're not, it's kind of like they're just feeling that distance. Regardless if they're even in the same state. Ooh, okay. You've got a new cycle coming up. Yeah, and also congratulations, Aries. Pat yourself on the back because you have successfully completed the previous cycle as well. Whether it was easy, it was difficult, it was challenging, you've done it. Now the world is yours. You, the world is your oyster, basically. What I like here is that it's a very literal, very direct, basic, um, straight to the point message is that whoever you're thinking about does think the world of you. They do. There's a, they hold you in high regard. There's a lot of respect. But in saying that, they want to start something new with you. They want a brand new cycle, Aries. This is looking amazing. Okay. Okay, let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have a Knight of Wands. So very strong uh, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly another Aries you could be dealing with. This is my traveling knight. 
So this is very con uh, confirming, double confirming. If your person is at a distance, they will be traveling to see you. It doesn't always have to be at a distance. Um, they could actually be doing it quite impulsively as well. Um, this person has a lot of passion towards you. Knights are all about messages. They're all about changes. So not only do they want a brand new beginning, they want a passionate new start with you. Pick up where he's both left off. I'm not really, um, ooh, yeah, you got know, that three of swords. I'm not really getting here that they're coming back with a hidden agenda, as in, I want to hurt Leo even more. Now, they want a new cycle here. Start on a clean slate. Um, now, this is the thing. I don't always get player-like energies with that Knight of Wands. Uh, it's a bit unfair to always say, hey, this is the player. Um, even though, yes, the Knight of Wands is known to be a little bit flirtatious. But, um, yeah, we've got the healing of the star there. Something happened here. And I feel like this is why they want a brand new beginning. Um, there's something here that they also want to talk to you about, which well, we already can see here is the Three of Swords, Libra Energy. Okay, so, oh, uh, Aries, this person really broke your heart. I'm wondering what did they do? Because this can literally be infidelity where there was a third party. Maybe it was you and you had no idea. Or maybe you knew, maybe they had a third party here. You know, they acted upon their options and impulses, which they never should have done. Because the Knight of Wands can be quite impulsive as well. Um, now, this third party could have been distance, work, maybe there were family, friends, co-workers that were meddling, or maybe it was infidelity, but no one's happy here. Everyone's heart was broken, but they sure as hell did a number on your heart, and it left you heartbroken. But they are coming back to heal this. The star, major um, arcana here for um, Aquarius. This is again about destiny. You got the Wheel of Fortune, which is also about destiny. Um, this is a wish being fulfilled here, and I know you're thinking, well, how can they be my wish fulfillment after they broke my heart? They want to heal this because the star is all about healing. It's about washing away and renewing um, everything that was, well, this, that was so heartbreaking for you. There's a reason why you're connected with this person. There's a reason why they're coming back. Yeah, it's almost like they're seeing you, that you always were their wish fulfillment, though. But why are they feeling stuck, though? Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, there could be some legalities here going on. Um, we've got some, uh, we've got justice, we've got very strong Libra, Libra and Scorpio and that Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're going to give you some clarity about what happened. Make no mistake, they will be asking you for a second chance. That's judgment here. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if someone's divorced here or going through a divorce as well. I got all these, a bunch of these cards here because um, you're not really seeing this person in the best of light. Let's move that car deck over there. The reason why I say that is, well, got the Eight of Swords. They're feeling very stuck here. Gemini energy, got Cancer, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Um, yeah, they're feeling a little, little bit stuck here because of basically how possibly you do see them. As I said, not in the best of light here as well. On challenging days, it's almost like they lose hope when the star is saying, don't lose hope. If you want Aries, go and get Aries and make this right and fix this. <laughs> they need to. Yeah, they're a little bit worried that this was indeed a missed opportunity. Your person is indeed missing you. I'm inclined to say that for the majority of you watching this, the collective, you're not talking to each other. And if you are, it's just awkward. It's just, what's the point? <laughs> Probably talk one sentence, you know, once a week or once a month here. Yeah, Nine of Wands, yeah, your defenses are up. They know that. They're feeling a little bit defeated when it comes towards you. But that Five of Swords, they did something in the past that was very selfish. I just grabbed this. I just thought I was going to use more there. Let's see. The Emperor, that's you right there. Major Arcana for Aries. Ooh, wow. Okay, you are definitely standing in your power. You're really owning it. You're really focusing here on your career. You're leveling up here. Some of you are getting promoted. Um being offered that dream job here as well, um, even being a teacher here as well, where people actually look up to you like, Aries, how did you do it? Teach me, for example, self-employment here, very successful energy. Um, your person will be taking action towards you though. Um, I'm also hearing a lot of you are a little bit nervous about this because you have to lick your wounds on your own. It's almost like Aries, when you needed love the most, they left or they broke your heart. Like, I'm really, really sorry about that. I just... Wow, that's not easy what they did to you. I mean, it's not easy. What you went through, that's what I'm trying to say, is not easy. Yeah, the Two of Swords, Libra Energy. So analysis paralysis. This is you basically having one foot in, one foot out. 
because as much as perhaps you, well, you probably think, okay, what if we do have a um, pick up where we left off? What if I give them another chance? You are certainly not being a fool, Aries. You're not forgetting what they did here. There should be two people in this connection. They allowed another person in this connection, whether it was infidelity, they didn't have enough strong boundaries. They certainly didn't, you know, protect you. No, not at all. They broke your heart. So now it's almost like you're trying to be logical about this. It's like, okay, well, well, who's to say they won't do it again? And that's fair enough, Aries, to ask these questions. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, some of you's met through work. Some of you actually met through maybe um, mutual interests. Um, that could even be online here as well. Professional network of friends, maybe through your studies here, finances. Um, that's not for all of you, though. That's for the collective small group of you. Um, they want to be part of your team, though. They want to be Team Aries. Work with you. Collaborate with you. Create magic again. Recapture that beautiful romance that you've had in the past. The thing is, it falls on your shoulders. You're very indecisive here at the moment. It's like you really don't know what to do. So I would not be surprised if I do see the Seven of Cups then. So well, we do have a Seven. We've got the Seven of Wands. Uh, Leo energy. Yeah, your boundaries, Aries, uh, is very tight. You're very discerning, very picky. And that's not a bad thing. Um, who you let into your circle, who you allow to re-enter um, your circle here as well. Yeah, your person knows that they're going to be harshly judged here as well. Not just by you, but all, almost like by friends, family and co-workers that do have your back here as well. This is the card of being assertive, Aries. You have a lot to say. You do want to speak your truth here as well. Um, there is no need to argue though. If you do want to get that clarity, um, I would say to listen to each other because you do have a lot to say here as well. I get, it's almost like I'm getting that you're, you're quite angry because what they did was very unjust here. So what's the beating heart of your reading? Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Maybe there is an age difference here between some of you. And I feel like that's why you're a little bit, oh, oh, I don't know, because this particular page is the messenger, but this is when they want to see you face to face. They want to offer you something such as, can we pick up where we left off? Can we meet for a coffee? I need to talk to you. If you are in a long distance, it's like, can we FaceTime? I need to see your face. And it's almost like, oh, I don't know. No, yes. Yeah. Now, what are they going to offer you is basically is what they're hoping that you're going to say yes to as a second chance here. Queen of Pentacles. Very strong um, Virgo. Could also be Taurus and Capricorn. Now, this is the thing. The Queen and the King of Pentacles, they're notorious that they're either in a committed relationship or they're engaged or married, possibly the children here as well. So I'm wondering if there was a third party, Aries, did you find out that you were the third party? Or did you always know, for example, um, and they chose someone else? Or did you find out that they were married or whatever it was, there was something there that shouldn't have been there. Um, so, I mean, as much as it holds you in high regard, they're seeing as someone practical and reliable, inevitably there was someone or something that was the driving force that caused this big wedge and this breakup here. What else? The Knight of Pentacles. Very strong Virgo energy, and yes, could also be Taurus and Capricorn. Now, this is the slowest moving night. This pro person is approaching you very slowly, um, but they're doing it on purpose because I don't want to trigger you. Um, because Aries, out of all the star signs, after doing so many readings, after so many years, I know that you, Aries, are very upfront and direct. And I love that. I love Aries energy, um, but I feel like it's uh, it might scare your person. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, basically. Um, so I do feel with that Knight of Pentacles, some time has passed since this happened. And yes, you know, on challenging days, when you think about it, it feels like it happened yesterday. It's like they broke your heart today, for example. It brings up a lot of old wounds, hence why they're moving towards you very slowly. But as you can see, the Page and the Knight of Pentacles, they're holding the Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer you something. But it's almost like, do they have any right to? We'll see. But, okay, so I will say this. <clears throat> Excuse me, Aries. This is the most reliable night. Because this night, when they arrive back into your life, they do arrive correctly. They've really thought about what to say to you. What to offer you. So, let's see. I think this does fall on your shoulders. Uh, so we have the Six of Wands, represented by Leo Energy. Mm, I'm wondering here, your person loves getting attention, don't they? Mm hmm Maybe too much attention. So sometimes I do feel here perhaps your person was overly flirtatious. I don't feel they did it on purpose to hurt you. 
And again, they shouldn't say, well, this is how I am. No, not at all. There needs to be respect here um, for you, Aries. Um, <clears throat> They're doing something here, could be something online that could reach international waters as well, um, like influencer. They're doing something, even possibly with their hands, creating something from nothing to that, the finished product. So they could be getting a lot of attention. You know, we do have the star and the six of wands. This could be you, Aries, or your person. Someone literally could be in the spotlight or about to reach kind of like that spotlight and, you know, energy, getting attention. Um, very interesting there, but they want this to be victorious in offering you this in taking their time taking action asking for a second chance They want this to be victorious. I'm getting a person may have a little bit of ego issues. So they need to check that so ten of wands <clears throat> Sagittarius energy look how stressed your person is. Oh god. I'm not laughing, but it's almost like they couldn't have avoided all of this They're very stressed. Yeah, so we've got the magician major arcana there for Gemini and Virgo they want a brand new start. This is what they want. They want to create a brand new start. They're just stressed here that you're going to say no. So we do have the five of pentacles, Taurus um, energy. There are issues of abandonment and rejection here, Aries. Um, perhaps your person gave you false hope, false wishes here of this and this. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. That came crashing down. Perhaps they rejected you last minute out of the blue. They ghosted you. They blocked you. Perhaps they chose someone else here. But then look at that. Yeah, that's the fastest night. So there's a bit of a war in their mind. Do I take my time? Do I rush in quickly? Now you've got the, the King of Pentacles, Strong Taurus energy. All right. So there is potential here. You've got the, the ultimate power couple of commitment, of stability, of marriage here. Spirit said to get one more. Yeah, Three of Wands. That's you, Aries energy. So they're waiting for the right moment. Do you want to give them an opportunity? That is going to be up to you. Now we'll be clarifying these cards. And grab it. I'll be using the Morgan Greer. So let me just put these in a pile. Yeah, split the deck. Page of Swords, my online card. Maybe you met this person online. They are watching you though. They're watching you like a hawk. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. You are the wish fulfillment. There's no other way to put this. But ultimately, Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. This does fall on your shoulders. The choice will be yours. They, they want a brand new beginning with that Ace of Cups. Mm. Let's see. There's that Five of Pentacles again. Oh, yeah. This person, whatever they did, it broke your heart. We've got that Two of Swords again. Yeah, it, this is going to be your choice. They know that. That's the thing. They know that ultimately... Yeah, ultimately, yeah, see the Two of Swords. It's going to be your decision. And I feel like that's what's making them quite stressed here as well. Whoa, all right. Yeah, because of this ending, because of what they did. That's why, Gemini energy. So, yeah, Aries, a lot of you could literally be feeling here quite um, betrayed, backstabbed, cheated by this person, by what they did, how they allowed this to unravel. They went their own way, forcing you to pick up the pieces and move on. And now they come back and it's like, oh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. What do we have? What else is at the bottom of this deck? All right, we've got you again, the full major arcana there for Aries. So they will be taking that leap of faith towards you. So far, all the actions, the messages, your intentions are all pointing to you. Yeah, they regret this. The Five of Cups. I mean, they know it's a major risky decision. They're feeling quite embarrassed, quite despondent here. Very ashamed. Mm, yeah, of why? Because there was potential with that Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. There's that Knight of Pentacles again. They're moving towards you. See how we've got this Knight looking to the future. Star. Again, a wish fulfillment. Six of Wands. Look how we're getting these repeat messages. You are getting an apology though. Is that enough? No, of course it's not. No, no, no. They need to actually clarify. They need to fix this. If they really want to win you back, which I'm seeing that they do, yeah, they're going to have to fight for this. They're going to have to chase you. In other words, clarifying at you, the Emperor, we have Ace of Swords. You're going to get that clarity. And our Aces all represent brand new beginnings. So this is a mental breakthrough here. It is cutting away through all that BS, all the lies, all the rejection, um, the chaos. Yeah. 
getting away from all of that. Um, they want to they want to start on a clean slate with you and you will be getting all your answers such as, you know, why did you leave? Why did you do this? Anything that you never got closure on or clarity, they're going to do that. So I will give that to them. Um, I am happy here because I'm on your side, Aries. This is your reading. I am happy here that they are coming with the truth. So clarifying the two of swords, eight of pentacles, Virgo energy there. Yeah. You know, I feel like you're you're trying very hard here, Aries. Don't put so much pressure on yourself to make up your mind. Now, yes, when we get the Two of Swords, Spirit says you need to make a decision. The time has arrived, Aries. Do you want to, you know, give this person another chance or do you want to close this permanently um, and move on on your own, though? Um, so I feel like it's like, ugh, don't put too much pressure on yourself, though. I know it sounds, it's very contradictive. Just don't put that added stress on yourself. If you need to take your time, if you need a week, just verbalize it and say it. But of course, in saying that though, your person here wants to work very hard here um, to redeem themselves, to prove to you that they're prepared here, not to give you only that clarity, but through action to show you that they are worth a second chance. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Because they didn't do that in the past. Clarifying that three of pentacles, the page of rods, page of wands, fire energy. All right, yeah, okay, you're getting a lot of messages now. Yep, yeah, it's almost like they're coming back. They'll be offering you um, that option, that offering, and hopefully you're going to cross your fingers and get excited when basically along those lines that they want to be Team Aries. Oh, wow. There is a lot of love and passion here towards you. But why did they do what they did? Bad, poor judgment, I will say that. Um, clarifying that Seven of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, oh, it, it, I feel like it's sometimes it's a bit of a hard decision. It's like you're doing yes, no, yes, no. I do like this person, all but the three of swords that they gave me. So yeah, honestly, weighing up the pros and cons here. I feel like some of you are just kind of diving into work just to forget about this person for a while, but they're not going to go anywhere. That's the thing, Aries. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. Clarifying that page of pentacles is the five of pentacles, Taurus energy. We did get that here. Yeah. Yeah. So the beating heart of the reading here, what's part of the message is how they abandoned you, how they bailed out. They pulled the plug on this. There was so much potential and they just left. Extremely poor judgment. Will they repeat it again? No, because that ace of swords is, well, not repeating the same mistakes from the past. Um... They are a little bit worried here that the table will turn. In other words, you know, when the sock is on the other shoe, that you'll end up rejecting them. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like if that does happen, they'll say, well, I deserved it. But I really, really want to win Aries back, though. So let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Okay. All right. So I see Aries here that you are really, well, first, you're, very, you're spot on with your intuition about this person. I think you kind of already know why this ended as well. Um, you're focusing now and you're really valuing the meaning of self-love, self-care, putting yourself first here as well. You are looking to the past like, oh, okay. Uh, don't blame yourself, Aries, in any way, because you went with the best intentions. Um, they were the ones that screwed it up and they, they are the ones that are going to have to fix this. Should you want them back into your life? I am seeing here that perhaps I'm seeing, you know, when I see two queens, there's too many people in this connection. Um, so if your person here was dealing with someone else, um, like another marriage, infidelity, they need to cut that once and for all. So they cannot come back to you with ba um, baggage at all, Aries. Clarifying that Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords again. That's why they are taking this sweet time. That's why you've got the slowest night, because they know what they did to you, because of this heartbreak. That's why. It's like, I always say this, this image, it's like they're coming back like a, a dog with its tail between its legs because they know they did something wrong. That's why they're taking the time here. Yeah, they know. They're very, very aware that they broke your heart. That's the thing. God. Clarifying that six of wands. Seven of swords. Aquarius energy. It's weird how they're coming back to you quite sneaky though. They do acknowledge here that there were some lies in the past, some lying, cheating, stealing, sneaky energy here as well. But as much as they're coming to you, they're coming towards you and they want victory, they'll be doing it quite sneaky. I feel like because I don't want certain people around you to know. So it's almost like, you know, I, I want to reach Aries first before maybe friends, family, co-workers influence Aries and say, don't go back to this person, don't go back. Um, so they could send you like a midnight message, for example, where perhaps 
you know, they're crossing their fingers that you're alone. Um, I do feel here your person was in denial, kind of lying to themselves, cheating themselves that, okay, maybe I, you know, this was for the best, I, you know, I can't be with Aries, but, you know, there's only so much this person can lie to themselves before they realize it's like, no, I, I actually really want Aries. Very poor judgment. I know I keep saying that and I do repeat it, but I feel like this person acted quite impulsively. They didn't think it through. I mean, that's very typical there of the Knight of Wands. And now when the dust settle, it's like, oh, okay, I majorly screwed up. Let's clarify your final card. Yep, the Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy, my happily ever after card. This is what they want with you. What do you want, Aries? This is, oh, this is so interesting. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so curious. Um, yeah, so I'll hold this one up because when this happens, when you get this message, about how much they're sorry, because we do have that Knight of Cups, about how they want this reconciliation with you. This is happy reconciliation, domestic bliss, blended family, all that beautiful things that you want. What is going to happen beyond that? And that's where your extended comes in, um, where I get straight into it. So just bear with me, Aries, especially for those that are new to my channel. I will pause the video. When I unpause it, you will see um, a glimpse of what I do in your extended. So I'm so curious to see what is happening right now this very second with your person so interested when they finally reach out to you so just bear with me aries all right aries welcome back so yeah as you can see i've cleared the table now and we have five different decks so just to reiterate especially for those that are new to my channel um this is these are the decks that i'll be using for your extended reading um they are never less than 25 minutes I usually go over. It's just I want to make sure you get all the information, the insight, um, and the clarity that you need. So when you walk away, your mind and your heart space feel a lot more lighter now. Um, kind of like you have the road before you, a lot more clearer. Um, so Aries, yes, I will be focusing this entire extended reading only about your person from their point of view. You know, their true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection, their intentions, their desires, their wishes about you, any fears that they have, what's happening around them as well, any people or, you know, um, um, situations that are influencing your person. Um, and yeah, I want to know what are their actions, outcome and advice moving forward. So to do this, Aries, I'll be starting off with the Light Seers Tarot. Then I'll be clarifying here with the Lucid Dreams Tarot. I'll be moving on to the Answer Oracle cards or the Yes or No cards. Sometimes we do get timing here as well. Then I'll be moving on here with uh, the Romance Angel Oracle cards. Beautiful messages and advice moving forward. And then I'll be closing uh, your extended reading with the Minology cards. Sometimes we do get here um, certain zodiac signs, maybe your person um, as well, just to really um, kind of confirm all the messages here as well. If the zodiac sign does not appear, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Um, it's just good to see what certain zodiac signs that are coming in. Could be in their, in their chart as well. Um, and also some direct messages to you, Aries, as well. Um, you'll definitely um, resonate with them as well. So Aries, as I was saying, the um, link to your extended is in the description box below. It's the very first link underneath all the stars. So I'll see you on the other side, Aries. But if this is where we depart, I wish you the very best. Um, if you did resonate with this reading, I really, really hope that um, you can find some peace, healing, abundance, love, perfect health. You really deserve it, Aries. Love your energy. I do this with a lot of love and enthusiasm. Um, and if you did like this reading, hit that like button. It may very well reach another Aries that needs to hear these messages as well. So Aries, I'll see you in the next couple of days. Um, do check out your daily um, messages. I do shorts um, for every single star sign, including yours, Aries, as well. So that's like a 60 second video. So just messages for you. So I'll see you again in the next couple of days, Aries. Take care. Bye.